been going now about three, three and a half years. It's based in Kilimanjaro. It's a community group that helps others uh, with mental health, social isolation, loneliness, you name it, we help out. And um, it really is just based on two of us, uh, myself and Barry. Uh, we've both been through mental health ourselves over the years and uh, now it's time to pay back and help other people. We try to help people today, not tomorrow. It's so frustrating around the country and around the world where um, you know, you've got some issues and they're quite personal and you can't actually talk to anybody about them in, in authority for six months a year. And it makes you more real. Where people just come along, make friends uh, to our place in Kilimars and we chat. If we can't help them, then naturally we guide them to somebody that can. to create a togetherness. I think since we've uh, done the exhibition and started organising it and getting people on board, um, we've had the lockdown with COVID and we can see that creating togetherness working in different ways even there. But it's amazing how it's give people a purpose in life to be accepted, not to be judged. And the skills and the fun and the laughs and the banter we have by doing creative work. Um, it helps people to move on in their lives and, and it gives us all a quality of life and it's certainly helped us. And it's helped their confidence and motivation so much. And, um, you know, we've had, um, say, the NHS come on board to support us. We've had um, Derbyshire Council, a public health uh, County Council have helped us and supported us and we work within the five ways of well-being which is connecting each other, doing activities, listening to each other and it works. I took ill with a trauma in my life. Um, I was looking after my dad who got Alzheimer's and I was going through a divorce. I didn't see the warning signs and um, I had a breakdown and I went out and took an overdose but managed to survive it. And I was put on psychiatric wards at um, Hartington Unit, Killamarsh. And I'd had a stigma against mental health. I didn't understand. Um, but I met all these lost souls. And after that first week, i become one of those lost souls. And the characters I met there, amazing people, people that shouldn't be there really, but they become poorly. And they become, over the next 15 years, in and out of wards, the greatest family I've ever read, and still are. I lost a lot of people that become family over the years, or and a lot of people that just give up and just walking about. But they're with me all the time. I always used to think, oh, it's so sad that the, I've lost these characters. I haven't lost these characters. These characters in the work I do, they're with me all the time. They're encouraged me to help other people. There's a, a picture of a wonderful cat. One of our members, James, who, who's a wonderful artist, he does a lot of artwork. This picture of this cat is his best friend, Loopy. They were tied at the hip and they needed each other and Loopy was another amazing character. In lockdown we've lost Loopy. Loopy got run over and died. I was so scared for James because I knew it would pull him down so much. And of course, I've forgotten about this picture in the exhibition today, you know, because it's been six months since we've been here. And I've seen it now. 
And this is the love and the passion and the family we've become. We care for each other. James is finding it quite hard at the moment. He's getting there with the support of his family and the support of us. He's slowly getting there. But at one time, I was very nervous for his life. A friend of ours, Tony, he's the son of Rose I was talking about, who makes all the teas for us. And he's quite an anarchist in some of his artwork, and it tells a point. And he'll see pictures relating to different subjects, and he distorts them there again on the internet. And I mean, a lot of them he actually paints as well. And they're amazing artwork. And this is it. We, we have to recognise and we have to understand each other's, what we're trying to say. You know, because it might be something slightly political, don't mean to say we can't have it. I mean, you know, um, it's just expressing their views and it, it's, it, it's helping the artists to live in the world that we're living in, in, in whatever situation it is. So Tony's artwork is absolutely amazing. He is a, a big lover of um, graffiti art as well, which this represents a famous graffiti's artwork. And he, he, he might change them himself. Uh, and Tony's saying so much work and what's going on in life in these pictures, and I think they're absolutely wonderful. They look really well on this white background and in this room. And this is it, it's so diverse um, of all the artists we got here. Their work's so diverse from one to the other, and it's brilliant bringing it all together. And it's become one force, one force. Yeah, it's really good, but they're amazing. I've done a, a sculpture of my own, um, which is in the exhibition, and it represents, um, it, when you, as you see in the, in the picture of it, um, the subject's called plastic. And of course, you know, there's been lots of documentaries and we've seen the wildlife programs where there's plastic suffocating everything. And um, it's just one of many substances that suffocate in the world. So I decided to um, do a sculpture with a, a towel on the, on, on, on the chair. And that's still in the bright colors where there's lots of places we can go to and we treasure because it's not polluted. And on the actual floor, there's all the plastic. And what I've done is I've sprayed it in, um, in black. I thought, I've got to start collecting this plastic up from home. And I thought it was going to take me ages. And all the plastic there, it's just over a, week, a week's worth of plastic, like tablet, little strips, bottles, all things like that, bits of wire. Um, it only took me a week to collect that work. I just want to see this grow. I mean, to be honest with you, um, this was the next step forward for us. I want this to move on. I want other people to come on board and take over the work that we are doing in the communities now. Um, yeah, because the youngsters our future. I mean, I'm going to sum it up in, in, in one word. This exhibition is so unique and so special to us. This exhibition is saving people's lives and giving them a new quality life and it's giving people hope. So thank you ever so much to everybody who have helped us out, supported us in different ways. You are true friends, thank you.